greetings uh, we are still in keepers 2 android today we are going to look how to activate the keepers 2 android keyboard how to create folders and files how to get our password into the password field manually then the important thing today is that we are we be making use of our, our keepers 2 android keyboard reason is that information in the clipboard can be monitored by all apps on your device so we have to make use of a special keyboard uh, from the key pass uh, industry so now how can we uh, then use the keyboard so immediately you install your key pass to android the keyboard is already been installed but you have to do uh, one configuration to allow it to be exposed so you have to go to settings when you go to settings then you go to language and input when you go to language and input then you will see where we have a current keyboard if we click on it we'll click on choose keyboard from the choose keyboard we have to on you can see we have keep uh, keep us to android we on it then we click ok so we have activated that keep us to android keyboard so now let's go back to the main thing we have today so we have to open our we have to open our keep us to android so this uh, this is the database we created yesterday we will still make use of that so let's open our database we want to form a folder we want to create a folder so we have to put the password we used yesterday. Uh, you input your password. So you then click on, uh, you click on this unlock. So we click on unlock immediately. Our database will open. So wait, this is our database. Uh, it is still new. We have to create a folder. So we have to click on this plus sign to create a folder we click on it so you can see we have to click here for our new folder we click on the folder so we have to add the name of that folder let's say that the name of this folder we want to add is all about the, the blockchain so after that we click on ok yeah if we click on ok we have it is now saved then we now click on so we open the folder so let's click another folder i want to show you something let's click another folder so let's say we have this folder as contacts then we can change we can change the folder icon which is here then simply by clicking here then we have so many icons so we can pick one icon and click ok so we have different icon from our blockchain folder so let's uh, add files uh, in our folders including our password so we click on this folder it will open so to add we click on add then we choose our we add our add key we click on it so we can see see what we have it now open so what do we have to remember so we have to remember something important that thing is our key if anything we are going to type in here we have to be very serious don't use this key don't use this key so then which key are we going to use we have we have to get our keepers to keyboard just bring down from the top bring it down you will see where we have change keyboard hope hope you see it i'm sorry where we have change keyboard so we click on that change keyboard so you will see our keepers too we select it now we have our, our new keyboard so these are the, this is the keyboard we we 
will make use of none. So in this keyboard none, let's say we want to add, uh, we want to save a steam it then details. We type in then steam it. Maybe our username. We we type in our steam it username. Then our password. We type in our password. Uh, you can copy your password from where it is and save it and also confirm your password. Then our URL, we have uh, we have it as steamit.com. So also our, uh, you can put down a note in a note uh, depending on what you want. Then you can put on tags in here. Maybe here you may save important tags uh, that are lovely that you don't want to forget. And so on. Then okay if you if you if you if you want to uh, override uh, the first password you can put an url that will override the first one then if you want if if you click on this expires a new one will come out which is if you click on this we have a date so you can edit this date which is to a date you want these details to expire but if you don't want these details to expire, you can just unmark it. Once you unmark it, it will never expire. So we have it immediately. We can click save. We click on save. So you can see they say that the password do not match. Uh -huh. So there must be a, a problem somewhere. So we have to watch our password well. So make sure that the, uh, the password you are trying to copy and paste are the same. If not, it won't save. We click on save then. That is wonderful. Just to give an example, not actually my password. So we click on save. Password is not much. That must be wonderful up to now so so it is now save so we have saved it okay so make sure you input your password very well if not it won't save so you can see here we don't have anything then here we have a file already that if we open it we see the details uh, in the details you can see you can copy the details uh, you can go to the url clicking on this immediately you can see we open the url so you can see yeah. immediately so okay so i think it is wonderful does what we are going to have for today we still have so many of things we are going to do about this okay so our next lecture we discuss on the next how we can deal with some plugins and so on and so forth thank you